They say it's, it's the part of the world, this Great Lakes, that has seen the highest numbers of death from war, genocide and conflict since World War II, something like 20 million. And in our work, when we look at what is causing all this, uh, we see these two big issues, corruption and conflict. And when you have poor governance where people are not able to have the right self-determination, where people have censorship, where people have arbitrary rule, you'll not have peace. I describe peace as um, a status of mind, where people are feeling secure. We know that peace is living in harmony. In the last few months, there hadn't been so much of the same conflicts that we had been having in the Great Lakes region. But of recent, there has. Uh, around May, June, quite some tensions between the DRC uh, and Rwanda. There has been other tensions, but... In general, I can say that there is no peace. That is why we are advocating it. Welcome once again. It's a great pleasure to see you again. Um, it has been a while since uh, we saw each other uh, in Goma. The idea of this network is to bring together youth initiatives from four respective countries in the Great Lakes region, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Rwanda, Uganda, and Tanzania. That they build a network and learn, exchange, and benefit from each other's perspective. So we've been very excited as uh, Uganda to host the Peace Summer School, which is really a regional event. And I am glad to say that uh, in this Peace Summer School, we're able to host all the 100 participants. So we've also had a lot of stakeholders uh, from uh, universities, academicians, uh, people in civil society, uh, people um, at the Commission of the Youth. You will appreciate that Uganda is one of the countries that has put in place elaborate, robust structures for youth involvement. What really informs the theme for the region of Peace Summer School is really one. The world is at crossroads and the Great Lakes region is no exception. We still face conflict in the region and I think it's still important that we don't lose the eye on the ball. So this means that we need to keep young people engaged in the conversations um, involving peace because they are the most affected and they are the largest constituency. Um, the European Union is committed to um, supporting young people's meaningful participation in um, decision-making processes uh, with the idea of shining um, a light on the importance of youth in building a better future, a future that is more, more green but also more, more inclusive. Uh, L'expérience que j'ai avec cette conférence, que uh, j'apprécie beaucoup, c'est le fait que nous avons eu l'occasion, en tant que jeunes de la région de Grand Lac, de nous rencontrer et de parler des problèmes qu'il y a dans notre région autour de la paix. Bien entendu, nous savons qu'il y a des soucis, il y a des problèmes sérieux entre la RDC, le Rwanda et l'Ouganda. Some of the expectations was the increased capacity building for me as a young youth leader and as an activist in my country and also to gain more knowledge experience to create a network like what are other organizations doing what is a different innovative way of the way they implement their own ideology and their own goals in their countries and the facilitators that we've received they have shared insights on how to uh, the problems that cut across around the Great Lakes region of course corruption, division and Hier, le 21 septembre, ça a été la célébration de la Journée internationale de la paix et je pris part à une marche qui a été organisée ici dans la ville d'Entebbe en Uganda. Et le film que nous avons eu hier à la marche, c'était pour finir le racisme. by politicians, the youth. And you're used because you fail to understand that people push their agendas through you. If you look at the demographic strengths of young people in Africa, 
if you young people determined that there would be no war, there would be no war indeed. Et nous avons notre grand rôle, notre responsabilité en tant que jeunes, de mettre en place des mécanismes de, qui donnent la vraie information à venir dans notre région. Et euh, les messages des violences, des haines ne pourront plus exister dans, dans ce sens. I feel like we are at a level where we can make or break because too much information on social media is again dangerous to some circles, can create lots of tension. There have also been many avenues in which the media has actively played a role in shaping and building peace. The youth initiatives represent the views of the communities that they come from. So, we are certain that if we share the knowledge, it will be transferred and translated in the outcomes of these communities that they come from, that they work with. So we are confident that the grassroots approach that the project has taken is going to bear fruit in the coming few years in the Great Lakes region. So we have our work cut out for us. We have a heavy duty work to go and do in our countries because I will educate a hundred, a thousand and those people will also be advocates. This summer school has been so unique uh, because it's been the second summer school where we've had a process where youth initiatives were given an opportunity to write grant proposals that were very innovative, sustainable, replicable and uh, you know, that could solve problems in their countries. And during the conference, they were able to present their grant ideas to their fellow initiatives. And today we did the final selection and we announced the winners. I advise youth to take the lead, continue being at the front line of this because they cannot engage us if we are behind. We are